we propose Vive 3D, a novel technique for viewpoint-independent video editing based on 3D-aware generative adversarial networks. Our work builds on EG3D, which is a recently proposed architecture for learning spatial information from 2D images. EG3D consists of a StyleGAN2 backbone, which outputs a triplane representation. This is fed to a neural renderer, which also receives camera parameters and renders the subject from the given viewpoint, yielding RGB and depth. Finally, the output is upsampled using a super-resolution module. With this architecture, we can change the viewpoint and examine a 3D representation of a face. In order to edit a video, we propose a joint GAN inversion strategy to build a personalized generator. Given a set of viewpoints and facial expressions of a person, we invert them simultaneously. Each latent is a combination of a person latent WID and a regularized offset O. We also automatically infer the camera viewpoint during this optimization. We then fine-tune the generator and the neural renderer to capture the fine details of the target person. We can examine our inverted person latents from arbitrary viewpoints. To edit a video, we first crop the face region from the video and invert it using our generator. During this process, we also recover the camera pose. We repeat this for all video frames, yielding a stack of latent offsets and camera poses. We can use this to edit the input video, showing the head from a range of viewpoints, compositing the head with the surrounding frame. This is only possible because we take into account the shift caused by the head rotation. Changing the camera angle pivots the head around the facial key points, causing the mass of the head and the neck to end up in a different place. Compositing a rotated head without any correction, therefore, looks like this. We evaluate the optical flow between the source face and the edited face and adjust the crop region in the source video to account for the offset. Note how the corrected green line stays close to the source outline shown in blue. Now we showcase a variety of results generated using Vive 3D. We can change attributes such as hair color and simultaneously adapt the camera angle. Here we do expression editing at different angles. We can define a camera path around the face shown in blue. The original angles are shown in yellow. In this example, we perform edge editing at specific camera poses. We can also remove glasses. When the boundary is challenging, such as matching two hair colors, our method still creates a plausible transition. Here, we add eyeglasses. Note how the glasses cast a natural looking shadow. Of course, the glasses show up in the depth image too. For these gender edits, the structure of the face changes quite a bit due to the added hair. We show that we can use our personalized generator successfully on a different target video. We now show the effect of removing various stages from our proposed pipeline. Note how the output quality deteriorates in each of the ablation examples. We compare to related methods of GAN-based video editing and show that our semantic edits are at least on par with previous methods. Note that all methods use interface scan directions to adjust the latents, but the detected age directions look quite different for StyleGAN and EG3D. 
Other methods fail, however, when attempting to create plausible compositions with changes to the head's angle, yielding highly distorted results. We are also able to create some more experimental results where we use two sequences of different people. In this instance, we use the generator, person identity and motion of one video on top of the body and using the face angles of a separate video. Here we go one step further and use even the motion offsets from the target video, driving the facial expressions of the target person. Finally, we show one more result showing eight different angles. Thank you for watching.